good morning students today we are going to start our next chapter that is chapter number 6 the name of chapter is algebraic expressions and identities okay first of all what are algebraic expressions these are the combination of variables and constants okay and that are connected with the help of mathematical operators like plus minus multiply and division okay uh the combination of variables and constants are known as algebraic expressions what are variables variables are the are, are the letter used to represent certain quantity okay and constant these are the number variable are the letter and constant are the number okay and constant uh, the value of constant is always remains uh, is always uh, be fixed in the questions okay it remains fixed so variable the value of variable can vary okay but the value of constant will be fixed like if we are writing in the expression 5x okay so 5 means 5 is fixed okay the value of constant is fixed and x can be anything when we compute the value the, the value of x can be differ okay after computing the algebraic expression So let's start with our first exercise. That is exercise six point one. In this, uh, first of all, you have to solve some questions based upon addition. First question is based upon ad addition of the algebraic expression, and second is based upon subtraction. Okay. Third question is based upon uh, product means multiplication. This is a single term. <clears throat> okay, and this is also single term. so these are known as monomial question number 3 is based upon product of monomials all are monomials okay when we are having something in between two uh, in, in between these two variable that is plus minus anything we are having okay that means that uh, that is that will be a binomial so this value this is a binomial this expression is binomial this is a single this is monomial okay so question number 3 is product of monomials question number 3 is product of monomial with binomial okay and question number 5th is product of monomial with polynomials okay when we are having more than 3 3 or more than 3 values <clears throat> okay so <clears throat> i'm going to start our first question so first question is this is your first question which is based upon the addition of of two uh, of two alge uh, algebraic expressions okay so let's see this is the question number first question is uh, statement is given this in this way this this will be given like 12a minus 23b plus 30 this will be the first expression and is there so this means this will be the second expression so these two expression are there so you have to solve these two expression with the help of addition operation so how to solve these two first of all write this first value in this way this will be 12a minus 23b plus 30 in this way 12a minus 23b plus 30 okay the second second expression will come in this way 12b 12b will come under the value of b okay so this is second is the value of second is a Uh, this this is the value with the b so this 12b will come under this this tw minus 23b okay then minus 19a will come in the first column okay with a so you have to match it you have to write the value uh, means this is the a okay this is a value with a this is the value with b and this is the constant value okay so this is the value of a variable okay this is with the b variable so this is the constant value no variable is there so this will be the constant so you have to write in this way the variable which is having a you write uh, in this way in the same column okay b in the same column and the constant value write in this way with the, in the same column okay this minus 17 will come under this constant value okay then the way you are doing addition at the same way you have to do the addition okay put a uh, line over here okay plus 30 minus 17 plus 30 minus 17 you have to do subtraction here okay because 30 is having a plus operator and 17 is having a minus so plus minus will become minus 
okay but sign will come of the bigger one bigger one is 30 plus 13 in this way minus 23 plus 12 okay you have to do again subtraction question is based upon addition but the rule is that <clears throat> sorry if the one uh, one value is having a minus sign then you have to do subtraction over here okay minus 23 plus 12 it will be equal to 11 and sign will be a uh, sign and you have to write that sign which is of the bigger one value so 23 is bigger so my uh, sign will come of the bigger value next is 12a minus 19a okay plus minus again minus and I sign which sign you have to write which uh, of the bigger value so minus will come here okay easy in the same manner you have to do the b part this is the first expression and is there this is the second expression okay right in this way this will be plus 3p cube minus 17 p uh, minus 7p square minus 11p plus 6 okay this is the first expression now in the second expression 5p cube 5p cube will come under the p cube value it will come here now p uh, second is p square p square value is not there in the second expression so leave blank okay you don't have to write anything because the value of p square is not given in the second expression so leave the space in this way okay next is hp so write p value under the p value okay and this last one is the constant minus 4 write in this way it will come under this plus 6 and do the addition okay plus minus uh, you have to do plus minus minus will come you, plus minus will be minus and sign will come of the bigger value again plus minus minus sign will be of the bigger value and this will become uh, this will be same as it is okay minus 7 p square plus 0 is minus 7 p square 3 p cube plus 5 p cube it will be add addition you have to do here 3 plus 5 h p cube p cube is p cube okay when you're writing here a and a when you add these two only constant will be added this variable value will come as it is some are writing in this way a plus a a square no a and a will uh, it will become a square when we are doing multiplication in the addition a a will be a b b will be b p q p q will be p cube okay p p will be p okay so this is your first question where you have to do addition okay now the second question is second question is based upon the subtraction here it is now read out the statement subtract the following algebraic expression this expression is first expression this is the second expression subtract this from this from this means first of all you have to write this expression and then write down this expression under these values fine so i am writing here first this is the first uh, this is the this expression i am writing at the top now in this expression 21a 21a will come under the value of a okay this is the value with a so 21a come under this value okay next is 3b 3b will come under this b value last is minus 13 minus 13 will come here under the constant value right you have to see to it b will come under the b a will come under the a and constant will come under the constant now this is the question which is based upon this subtraction so in this question what you have to do you have to change the sign of the last term these are the terms of this last expression so you have to oppose the sign of these values plus 21 plus means you have to write here minus this minus will become plus and this plus will become minus in this way we are we used to do subtraction of the algebraic expression okay now plus 10 plus 21 a will not come but you have to do plus 10 a minus 21 a now you have to take this sign with 21 a you have to take this sign with 13 this sign with 3b okay plus 10a minus 21a subtraction minus uh, 11 11 will come and sign will come of the bigger value this uh, 21a is having now minus sign so minus will come here plus 15 
plus 13 this this plus sign is off now 13 this plus sign will be for 13 now plus 15 plus 13 plus 28 12b minus 3b it will be min, uh, sorry 9b a sign will come of bigger 12 is bigger or 3 is bigger 12 is bigger and 12 is positive so positive will be here so this is the a part in this way you have to do b part write down this this from this means you have to write this expression at the top at the down you have to write these uh, this expression okay and change the sign of these expression this plus 2p square will become minus minus will become plus minus will become plus plus will become minus okay now now do the subtraction fine now the third question is based upon find the product of each of the following okay what you have to do you have to do the multiplication of monomial with the monomial okay why these are monomial i have told earlier see 2a square b plus 2x plus 2b uh, uh, nothing is there okay these are the single single values so these are known as monomials okay so you have to do a multiplication here a part is we will do in this way d4 multiply by minus d minus 3d square how you do multiplication when you will do multiplication here minus 3 minus 3 will come here okay d4 into d square now the powers will be added in the multiplication power will be added okay d4 write d here and powers 4 plus 2 will become 6 okay if uh, if suppose here 6 will be there then 6 3 is 18 6 into minus 3 will be minus 18 okay constant will multiply with constant and variable will multiply with the variable okay how variables will multiply you have to multiply d 4 with d square in this way that the powers will be added you have to add the powers fine so answer of this question is minus 3 d 6 now now i'm doing b part b part is minus c multiply by 9 c square y5 okay now multiply these two minus will come minus will be here okay remove the bracket write this as it is now minus as it is 9 will be as it is c into c square c3 because this c is having 1 the power of c is 1 okay so c1 plus c2 is c3 okay and there is no value which is having y no other y variable is there okay so y5 will be as it is right 7a square b6 c4 multiply by 9a5 b c8 okay now 7 6 is 63 sorry 7 9 is 63 a square into a5 it will be a7 b6 into b b b1 it is b means b1 b6 into b1 is b7 c4 into c8 means c12 i am adding the powers a powers of a is 2 and 5 2 plus 5 is 7 b powers are 6 plus 1 is 7 powers of c are 4 plus 8 is 12 right now i am doing f part i have done i am doing a part uh, then i am doing b part then d part and f part two parts c and e you have to do by on it is very very simple okay same as it is the concept is same multiply these two okay now minus 3 into minus 6 6 3 is 18 in minus minus when you are doing multiplication minus minus will become plus so you can write plus here or you don't write plus okay it is same as it is okay p into p square p3 t3 into t square t5 okay powers i'm 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 adding the powers so this is the concept of first three questions okay you have to write these first three questions first of all read out and do practice of these three questions and then note down first three questions in your fair notebook of mathematics right if you're having any doubt we'll discuss these doubts in the doubt clearing session or you can call me anytime bye bye take care all of you